This is the new clam that I got. I'm actually replacing the clam that I did lose when I went on vacation. I let somebody take care of my tank, um, which they let the temperature get too hot. Like I said, I'm here in California. It was 103 over here. And they let the tank get too hot. It just cooked it. I'm pretty sure they didn't fed it right or I was gone for a week or so. So, this is a new clam that I replaced. Uh, I was looking around so I found one that I liked. So I let it acclimate for about 45 minutes. So now what I'm doing is um, I give it a look over. I did found the little snails that do eat um, bits of it. So not too many, I found like only two. And I looked for any Aptasia or anything on it. Uh, when I did buy it, it looked healthy. Had any bleach marks. Yeah, it attached to itself to a piece of rock, so I know it's good. So what I'm doing is I got a toothbrush. And basically, I'm just giving it a good cleaning. Um, looking for any infections or anything growing on it. Like I said, you want to get those little snails that do grow on it because they do damage. And if they get in your tank, um, you're never going to get those out. So uh, I'm gonna do this is my cleaning video uh, introduction as well, and I'll show you once I put it in the tank. So it's been acclimated, like I said, for like 30 plus minutes. Now I'm gonna give it a quick toothbrush over, and we'll see how it looks inside the tank. So I put them in the tank. What I did is I put a flat rock where it will sit on so hopefully it attaches itself to that um, also it protects them from anything going inside from the bottom so right now he's closed so I gave him a good you know brush over cleaned them up real good there's no more snails or anything on there inspected them uh, this is the spot where I want him in the middle tank where my original clam was at um, just to give you an idea the size of it is uh, I'm trying to find a reference point well look at the stability everybody pretty much familiar with this product but that's the insult it's a good size so once it gets acclimated in this tank and feels so comfortable to open up. I'll show this other video. Talked about it. a couple minutes into it, he's opening a little bit. I'm trying to do a quick measurement. Kind of hard to see it on camera though, but it's about five inches long. So not too bad. Five inch clam. Normally you see them three, three and a half. Here in California, you get on five inches. So he's kind of shy right now because the fish are flying. I mean, swimming over him. So it's creating a little shadows. Um, I'll put a little bit of the blue because I want to give him a little bit of. I don't want to shock him too much with the bright lights. Yeah. You look at my other videos, I showed you how I install these. Get four glasses. Cool. Fifteen dollars per stem. Look at that. So when it opens more, we'll do another shot. I'm oh, waiting for my fan to open. I have to feed my fish. My look down here. I feed him some homemade fish food. That I make. I'm gonna feed it my hand. You can look at my other videos how I make my fish food. You just nip that like a shark. <laughs> go right at it. And whatever um, pieces left over, those you will get. Oops, for him. Oh. One more piece. Some big. 
hear the loud noise in the background, that's my koi pond. So. I got flounder. She likes trail mostly. I love starfishes too. There are all kinds of starfishes. Get the blue wing fish in the back. Two of those. So. The kind of little shy stuff because everybody's going above it. It was in a tank of just with some coral. Oh, he's moving. Moving. I think he, I put a different rod. Yeah, he ate all of it. He, I put another flat rock. He had one attached, but I do not recommend you taking the rock away that he had attached to already. So if you attach to a rock, leave it. If you let go of it and attach to a bigger rock that I recommend you putting, to be more established, then that would be the best for it. So I put a nice flat rock, so nothing to go in. I mean, he's coming out a little bit. This iPhone don't give it no justice, but um, it's pretty good. For like 30 minutes. A good sign that he's going in and out. You know? That's a good sign. So hopefully he'll open up. Well, it's 9 o'clock right now at night. So by morning, it should be fully open. You know? I have good calcium in my water, so, you know, he soaks up a lot of that, so, I like it. I did add some microvert, just to entice him a little bit, and he is taking it in. He takes out his tube, right there, see, it was completely closed, but he's sucking it in. Think, hey, there's food in this tank, must be okay. See? That's one rule I always follow. There's food in the, If I buy something and it's not eating, I know it's not gonna make it. So. He's taking it in. He's like, hey, looks okay in here. So eventually he's gonna stop being shy. He's gonna open up. And we get to see what kind of color he has. Well, it's starting to open up. It does slow down when the fish go by, but it's just getting used to his environment. But um, I'm hoping within like a day or two, we'll just get used to the fish passing by. Because it wasn't in a fish, it was in a tank with just other corals that maybe not be used to the shadows. But um, I can give it a day or two, you know, that you say. They be closed all the time now, it's staying open to the middle, so. Do an update to show you the true colors. Cause it's, um, high grade clam, it's not just pure blue. And when it opens really, I give you, um, a top view, which gives it a whole different color. So, it's a good sign that it opens and closes. This is shy, but, um, at least it reacts to the shadows. So I'll see the progress and I'll do an update.